something new, Watson. I have the list of sailors who were aboard the Sea Unicorn. We shall soon learn what happened to Nelligan's father. I have only to find them. Let us hope they are still working at the harbour. I think that if you pretend you're from Scotland Yard... I doubt it, Watson. And really, I would prefer that all of this remains quiet for now. But I have another solution. I'll call in the specialist. And who might they be? The secret police division of Baker Street. Ah, you mean young Wiggins and his gang? Yes. Believe me, you'll receive more useful assistance from these little urchins than from a dozen yard detectives. Those children are everywhere. They see and hear everything, and they are cunning. All they lack is organization. I'll summon them. How will you do that? There is always a watch beneath our window. I have only to call him. Wiggins, could you come upstairs, please? At your service, Mr. Holmes. Wiggins, I need you to track down certain people for me. I'll give you a list. You can read, can't you? Big Oliver from our gang. He can, as his father is the coachman of a famous lawyer. Fascinating. Here is the list of sailors. Sailors? Easy. Just got to look where the rum and the red lights are. Sorry to trouble you, Mr. Holmes, but the inspector asks that you come to the station as soon as possible. Uh, thank you. I'll be there shortly. Mr. Holmes, I'm glad to see you. As always, what happened? We have a new suspect, Liam Hurtley. I'm thinking that this case will be resolved very quickly now. Interesting. Great tell. Well, the constable that I left at Woodman's Lee noticed a suspicious individual prowling around during the night. Do you have him here? Yes. He refuses to speak with us, but we'll make him talk. Let us hope so. Ah, oh, yes, and one more thing. The constable told me that at the time of his arrest, the fellow was writing a letter. Hmm. Do you have it? Of course. It's in the evidence room, at your disposal. Admit that for once, Mr. Holmes, Scotland Yard is a step ahead of you, eh? Mm, breathtaking. These are the suspect's belongings. Liam Hurtley's old boots. They are a size nine and a half. A pen. Nothing unusual about it. 
The stains are fresh. They can be removed with the proper chemicals. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I would like to ask you a few questions. I've already told the police that I've nothing to say. And you're not even part of the police. Precisely. And considering your situation, it might be wise to speak with someone who is, shall we say, rather more neutral. You are a suspect in a murder case. I know. Inspector Lestrade told me. It's ridiculous. Could you at least tell me who you are, and exactly what happened that you should be brought here? My name is Liam Hurtley. That I can tell you. But you're not getting any more than that. Well, we shall see. That's all for now. I need to prepare a chemical agent that is capable of removing fresh ink. For this purpose, the chemicals from the flasks should be combined in a certain order to perform a chain reaction. First condition, all seven reagents should be used. Second condition, orange reagent should be the third one in the sequence after the blue reagent. Third condition, Colorless reagent should be added after the orange reagent.
No, something isn't right. I need to start the reaction from the beginning again. First condition, all seven reagents should be used. Second condition, orange reagent should be the third one in the sequence after the blue reagent. Third condition, colorless reagent should be added after the orange reagent. Done. Now I can proceed further. Let us see if the content of this letter sheds a little light upon the mystery. I did as you asked and hid them well. Interesting. How would Hurtley react to this? Please escort this suspect for interrogation. So tell me, Mr. Hurtley, what did you hide? Hide? What are you talking about?
I did as you asked, and hid them well. Should I continue? My letter? But the ink? That's impossible. A touch of chemistry, nothing special. Well, you're a smart one. But it's nothing. If you want to know, I was referring to my tools. It was to do with my work, see? I will check that, Mr. Hurtley. That's all for now. I'm not saying another word. What am I doing here? I've done nothing... These boots don't match the footprints. These boots match the footprints exactly. Does the name Liam Hurtley mean anything to you? No, I don't know anyone by that name. Thank you, madam. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Tell me, Mr. Hurtley, what were you doing at Woodman's Lee? Woodman's Lee? I've never been there. The second pair of boots that you had with you when you were arrested perfectly match the footprints found near the cabin where Peter Carey was murdered. Footprints? 
That's your proof? How many men have boots like mine? That doesn't make me a murderer. Now that your presence at Woodman's Lee has been proven, would you care to explain it? I don't remember. What would I be doing there anyway? Because you are the gardener at Woodman's Lee. I'm not. How did you... I observed your hands. They told me that you work with the earth. Small fragments of plants snagged to your trousers indicate that you were mowing very recently. But the most obvious clue presented itself in the bird embroidered on your handkerchief. A crested tit, if I'm not mistaken. All right, all right, you got me. Yes, I am a gardener, and I went there to get my tools. That's all for now. Hurtley's stories are false leads. But now I know one thing for certain. I must examine the site where the garden tools are kept at Woodman's Lee. Madam, we have information that the valuable stolen papers are hidden amongst the garden tools here at Woodman's Lee. We need to find them. Oh my. Our tools are kept inside the shed that's right behind me. Here is the key to open it. Thank you, madam. Let's see what could be hidden here. Let us see what is in this box.
bundle of letters in a woman's hand with the Carey family monogram. Hertley and Mrs. Carey were in a relationship. That is interesting.'